today you get a free animated starting soon screen. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today we're back into the templates, but we're taking a break from Stinger transitions to move on into some other streaming graphics and whatnot. If you guys have any ideas for stream graphics you want to see me create, such as starting soon screens, um, Twitter gifts that say like I'm live or alerts, things like that. Let me know down in the comments or on Twitter and I'm gonna try to learn as many of these graphics packages as I can and start giving you guys some free templates. But today we're moving in to starting soon screens. So just like when I started doing the stinger transitions, I'm gonna be starting with a fairly simple animated starting soon screen. And then later on, we'll get into more advanced stuff. I'll release a starting soon screen pack with a lot of stuff you can choose from. We'll recreate starting soon screens from uh, the bigger streamers, all kinds of stuff. But we got to get started with the basics and get you guys a simple animated starting soon screen. So let's take a look at this template. All right, guys, when you open the template, here is what it's going to look like. This is our starting soon screen. I've got the FL logo standing for fake logo, and I've designed a new one just because it works better with the starting soon screen. But you see, it's the starting soon coming up, constantly scaling up, getting bigger, and then it flies out of the way. And then your logo comes in and it scales up, keep scaling up, keep scaling up keep scaling up and then once it gets to 20 seconds it then loops over and plays the starting suit again so you'll see the starting suit flies in starts scaling up you see it scales up the whole time and then after 10 seconds it goes whoosh and then your logo comes in and then your logo scales up and then it goes whoosh and then it starts over at the starting soon so it's pretty simple and then we've got the uh, gradient color bar at the bottom with the nice white shimmering line that goes across it like that right there so it looks really awesome guys and then your logo will also when you put it into the project be put in the background as you can see we've got these faint logos just going on in the background yours will be placed like that as well but not only will you guys be getting this starting soon screen also in this template you will be getting a free countdown timer it starts at five minutes and ends at zero and this can be added to any starting soon screen that you're building yourself there's not really a spot for it on this one i guess you could take out some of my assets and add a timer but this is more for if you are building your own starting soon screen and you just don't know how to do the timer so you get a free countdown timer here starts at five minutes goes down to zero you'll see i coded it inside of after effects here's all the code took quite a while to get it all going so I did it for you guys so here's a timer that you can export it's on an alpha background so you can put it on anything and I'll show you how to export that later so you get a free countdown timer you can also change the font of it to whatever you want change it whatever you want wherever you go and then you can also go to where it says timer set and where it says five this is five minutes and you can actually change it to say 10 and you can start it at 10 minutes if you really wanted to but I'm gonna leave it at five minutes for now because I, that's what I think the best is for a starting soon screen but let's get into the real starting soon template so when you open up the template, you're going to be here in the final render composition. This is where everything's finished, but you don't have any of your assets in here yet for your stream. So the first thing you're going to want to do to customize it is probably put in your logo. So you're going to go over here to the comp that says your logo here, and you're going to go ahead and just delete this one or hide it, whatever you want. And I'll show you if we bring in like this fake logo, the old fake logo here and put it in and delete the other one. You'll see that if we go back to final render, it auto updates. It's going to put your logo in here and then it's going to put your logo also in the background really faintly as you can see. So that all auto updates, all three of the logo spots will update when you put your logo in. We're gonna go back to this one. You see it re-auto updates back to this one. You can also change the font of the starting soon. If we go back to the final render here, you'll see we got this text starting soon. So you can select it here, select whatever you font you want here, and then you might need to recenter it. So you might need to select your starting soon here, go over to your align tab. If you don't see a line, go up to window and then open up a line here. And then this is where you can center things. This will center it in the middle of the composition if you hit these two right here. So if you see, we go over to the left then right here, that centers it back up. So if you change the font, you might need to center it back, but I'm just gonna leave the font there like that for you. And then what you can do at the end is change your colors of the color bar. So if we go up here to color bar, you'll see we got this nice blue and purple gradient. And you see down here, we got where it says change colors. So you're gonna click that. You're gonna go up to effects controls and you'll see you got your gradient ramp that goes between this blue and purple you can change that to whatever you want so let's say we want to go from orange to 
like a bright yellow. So just like that. And if we go back into the final render, you see it's got it updated it down there from the orange to the yellow. That actually looks really dope. I like that color scheme, the orange to the yellow, but we're gonna bring it back to the blue and the purple. But that's pretty much it, guys. You can change the font here. You could actually change this to say whatever you want. You could say, have it say stream starting. I don't care, it's just text layer. Just update it however you want. And then you can change your logo in the your logo here. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna come back into the final render once you got everything changed, all your colors changed. You'll see we've got the in and out points set perfectly for you so that if you put it in, it'll loop perfectly. Just make sure you set it to loop inside of OBS. So if you export it and leave these just where it is, it's a perfect loop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your composition is selected, go up to composition and add to render queue. So it's gonna add it to the render queue down here. You're gonna wanna click where it says lossless and change this to QuickTime up here where it says format, change it to QuickTime because it's a much smaller format. In the transitions, you normally wanna change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha, but we're not working with an alpha background right now. So you can just leave it on RGB, hit okay, then click where it says final render, and this is where you can save it wherever you want, name it wherever you want, and then you just wanna hit render. Then for the countdown timer, guys, once you've changed your font, moved it around, aligned it, cause once you need to, once you change your font, you're probably gonna to need to align it again. Set it to whatever time you want. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you set your in and out points. You'll see I have it just past five minutes, so it holds on zero for a little bit bit but if you change it to seven minutes make sure you change your in and out points to go all the way to seven minutes you know so i'm gonna leave it at five minutes here and then once you're done changing all this you just want to click here composition add to render queue just like before click on lossless change it to quick time but this time we are working with an alpha background if you're just exporting out the timer to put somewhere else you're gonna want to make sure it has a transparent background so you can just have the timer to put on things so make sure you have it say rgb plus alpha hit okay, then once again, select where it says countdown timer, save it wherever you want, name it whatever you want, hit render, and that is it. You guys have got a free countdown timer from whatever time you want, whatever font you want, and then you've got a free starting soon screen. It's a very basic one for now, but we're gonna get more advanced later. This is just enough to get you guys started if you are looking into getting an animated starting soon screen. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy your free starting soon screen. Once again, we're starting basic with just a small little animation Animated starting soon screen but we're gonna get more advanced later and recreate other streamers starting soon screens if I like them or if you guys like them and once again if you guys have any other stream graphics you would like me to recreate or uh, just build custom ones that and then provide templates let me know down in the description or on Twitter and I'll try my best to look into doing that I'm looking into doing some alerts but they're very complex but maybe we'll get into that a little bit later but I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you with another template and video peace out